flying high above the snowy peaks to then be dropped off to enjoy the ride down on skis or a snowboard. That's the dream of everyone who's fascinated about winter sports. And let's face it, there's something undeniably badass about it. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. But how difficult is it? And how is it like in a country like Romania that is not really known for skiing? You guessed right. We are traveling to the Carpathian Mountains in Romania to explore the adrenaline-fueled world of heli skiing. For this occasion we went to the skiing area called Montele Mic. Now it's not the biggest ski resort but it has a lot of character and is the playground for the guys at Heli Ski Romania who took us along with them on this ride. The day started off pretty early. We woke up at around 7 in the morning and then an hour later met everybody else at a small inn. We are right now waiting for the other guys to arrive. The helicopter is already parked behind the hill. We're gonna go all up with the, with the lift. I drive to the helicopter and then go up into the mountains. Since I don't have any skis I have been told that I'll be taking a ride. It's gonna be a bit nerve-wracking though. I have no skis. If anything happens at the top, I'm kind of just stuck. I'm excited for the journey all the way up there and for the views that I can see from above. But how does heli skiing actually work? It's pretty simple. We had been 12 people which had been split up into three groups. So it's always a group out of four with one guy. Then the helicopter pilot is landing inch perfect 10 centimeters in front of you. And trust me, this is the most scariest moment. It feels like the helicopter is just landing on you. Once it's landed, two people are responsible for storing the gear. And what really shocked me was that the flying time is actually very short. It's just around one to two minutes. While you are skiing down, the helicopter is already flying up the other two groups. Which means you are constantly skiing and you don't have the usual breaks in the ski lift. We are on our way. We are all going up. It is sunny today. The only problem is incredibly windy and that's why we left so early. Let's see what force is up to. We're going with a schema bar. This is my ride all the way up. Man, I'm excited. This was our first time filming winter videos in Romania and it was honestly amazing. We are so grateful to go on these crazy adventures to produce content for you guys, which would not be possible without a sponsor. And that's why this video is brought to you guys by All Mountain. They sell clothing and equipment for outdoor sports of any kind. They have stores in Bucharest, in Brasov, and soon will be opening up a new location in Cluj. And we had a lot of fun picking up our gear in one of the stores in Brasov. So good, leafy green as well. I've always wanted one like this. I need a jacket to go over this. I'll give this a go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yes. that's fire. Yeah, yeah. So I can never ever get back all the things I missed. Oh, man, I think you've got the gist. Yo, it's crazy. Yeah, it's super light. It's a nice one, isn't it, guys? Thin material. Sick. They have a lot of high quality products, so you know where to equip yourself for the next adventure. And now have fun with the rest of the video. Sounds like I'm talking nonsense, but it really, really does look fantastic. Look, you can see the helicopter right there. And in the mountains in the back. Mate, it's just sublime. I am so grateful for the opportunity that Heliski has given us. And I'm really excited for David as well because this is one of his lifelong dreams. And hopefully it all goes well. Yo! <laughs> Bro, this is a bit crazy, you know? It is wild. I'm a bit scared. Let's not beat around the bush. The helicopter is not the safest mode of transport. And that is what actually made me very nervous before my first flight. That's why you should always make sure that the people you are flying with firstly take care of the machines and secondly, have a very good pilot. And this is for sure the case at Helis Romania. He's a fucking savage. What should go wrong, isn't it? Before the first ride, we were all equipped with a sensor and instructed on how to behave around the helicopter. They showed us how to prepare our gear and position ourselves, what to be mindful of while entering, and of course also show us how to leave the helicopter once we land. 
first people just hopped into the helicopter and already went up. These are actually the mountains where we are going to. It's kind of better weather now. It's a bit sunny. I'm excited, but I'm also a bit nervous because it was my first time so close to a helicopter. And it is a bit scary and frightening. Just the power that this thing has and how big it is and how loud. With my grandmother and father being passionate skiers, I've been skiing for as long as I can remember. And heli skiing always had been the number one thing on my bucket list. I could have never dreamed that being in my 20s, I would be able to tick it off that list. I want to say thank you to Romania for this opportunity. And I want to say thank you to my grandmother and my father for sharing this passion. This video is for you. Incredible experience in helicopter first time. First run is done, now the helicopter is directly arriving again and picking us up for the next run. You don't have to fly out to America, somewhere else. This is amazing. Nature is untouched by humankind. It's just a few crackheads <laughs> coming with a helicopter and skiing. Once everybody had already done a couple runs with a helicopter, we were given a break where we could relax, grab a bite to eat and bask in the afternoon sun. Man, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely amazing. When we just arrived first time with a helicopter, I was like, yo. Right now, kind of on a break, Doing some nuts. David's having a nap where everybody's just sitting down, relaxing, chilling. Until it's uh, time for us to go back up again. Being there honestly felt like you were on top of the world as there was nothing but blue skies and white snow as far as the eye could see. We were quite literally in the middle of nowhere, completely detached from any sort of modern civilization. It was pure bliss. For people who want to enjoy the experience of heli skiing but are still amateur skiers, there's always the option of cat skiing. <laughs> we're going to clear the snow, clear the slopes for you lovely skiers and snowboarders. Um, and we're going to see the experience firsthand, behind the scenes kind of I guess. This is where the people take a flight from the ski resort to a beginner friendly terrain but just at a much higher altitude. And we have a private slope, you can see the slope going up 
and once you are at the top, you come either on the slope, either on the free ride. You are taken by the piston bully, where you have the option of sitting inside or on the front shovel. You can enjoy also this beautiful scenery, what you see everywhere around you. There we go. Man, this is sick. <laughs> it is. We're off. My weight loss journey is not over yet. Maybe that's why we move so slow. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're up here, in the front and we're gonna make our way back we had some more runs in the afternoon and then it was time to make our way back to the skiing area there we were welcomed with burgers and beer. It is for sure to say that we had one of the best experiences of our life. The guys at Heliski were well organized and took good care of us. If you want to go heliskiing as well for an affordable price in an amazing terrain, you now know where to go. Their links will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss out on further content. See you guys, la revedere and ciao!